Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at five abandoned Formula One tracks that should come back, in my opinion. Now, some of them are more serious than others. Some are just a little bit fantasy. Some, I think, honestly should come back. But, of course, as always, leave your comments down below in the comment section and let me know, realistically, which abandoned tracks or ones that aren't on the F1 calendar anymore would you really like to see back on the current Monday Formula One calendar? And which tracks would you replace? Because that's also a big question we should be asking here. So first on this list is the Indian Grand Prix track. Now this is used as most recently as 2013. So the facilities and the venue and all the safety stands, they're, they're all modern day. They're all sort of up to date. Now I think that the fact that that is the case makes for a really interesting sort of query here. Is firstly, I guess, why was it taken off the calendar in the first place? And then why are we not going back? Well, I think the main reason it was taken off the calendar was because of money, as it normally is. And I think the, the reason we're not going back is because of money. But in my opinion, it's a, it was a really interesting track. It had the, the differences in terms of the long straights, where, of course, you need that power unit. And, of course, it had the, the twisty and tricky bits where you need the, the efficient downforce. So I think it personally be a really interesting track to go you know back to, obviously, now with the Monday cars, with the much wider cars, the new power units. I think it would make for a really interesting Formula 1 and of course we never went there in the hybrid era. We were obviously last there in 2013, the hybrid era came into 2014. So in my opinion I think it would be really interesting to see what these cars would do around this track. How much quicker would they be than the 2013 cars and also what would the racing be like because there are a couple of features on the Indian Grand Prix circuit which should provide interesting racing of course. The, the very long straight and at the end of that straight there's that braking zone where you can obviously go for an overtake or look for the, an overtake into the next corner, which is after another relatively long straight as well. And there are obviously conflict zones as well where cars could go side by side through certain corners and where you could go for an overtake if you were ballsy enough. So I think personally, it wasn't a fan favourite maybe at the time, but looking back at it now, there are some tracks that have come onto the calendar since which weren't great. So I feel like that was a little bit of a lost lost track in a way that was one that we really should have maybe pursued a little bit further because that honestly could have actually been a really interesting track for Monday Formula 1 and it's sad that the reason it wasn't on the calendar or it isn't still on the calendar I guess is partly down to money and I guess and I guess the other thing is that there are so many Indian Formula 1 fans as well obviously loads of people have commented on my videos over the years they've said that you know I'm from India and it's like that's really cool. It's nice to see that Formula 1 is much more of a worldwide sport because back in, I don't know, maybe the 60s or the 70s, it was probably seen as a very European sport. And, you know, recently, obviously, going over to Americas and then Asia. And I think it's great that the, the sport is becoming much more worldwide. And it's sad that a country with as big a population as India doesn't have a, a track. Uh, would, doesn't have a track in use in Monday Formula 1. So personally, I'd love to see us go back there. Maybe we'd see, um, I guess, the fan base of India have now, maybe over the last couple of years, you know, got into Formula 1 a little bit more. Maybe because we did have a few Indian drivers in Formula 1. I think, was it 2010, 2011? We had Chandok and Carter Cam. So maybe we could maybe go back there and see what it, see what it's like. I mean, there's no I personally wouldn't see the harm in going back there because personally, it's better than a few of the tracks on the Monday Formula One calendar. And I think that their fans are probably much more passionate than some of the other tracks we go to where the grandstands are like one tenth full. So we'll see. I personally feel that everything is there for us to go back for another Grand Prix, but it's just just needs to be put in place really and maybe just not so much worry about funding. So maybe Liberty Media, now they've came in, maybe they can be a little bit more sort of, I don't know, maybe they don't have to care about money so much in terms of going back to a Grand Prix venue. It can be about just what is the best track and what can provide the best racing. So let me know, do you think we should go back to India for a Grand Prix? Leave a comment down below. So next up is a slightly crazy one, probably one that will never happen, um, but well, it will never happen, but I think it's an interesting concept, is the Ava circuit in Berlin. Uh, insane track, a really insane track, uh, one that's just, what was it, two very long straights and then sort of banked corners. I think it'd be really interesting to see what F1 would be like on a modern day version of that, or something like an oval layout as well. I really would like to see just F1 do something completely different with one of its tracks. I mean, I know it's not going to happen, let's be perfectly honest, but what do you think would happen if we went to a track like this, something like Avis or maybe some sort of oval as well? 
what would honestly happen? Do you think a certain car would come out on top? Or do you think even one day Formula 1 cars could run on a track like that? Because it would be so incredibly bumpy. And of course, one day Formula 1 cars are millimetres from the ground in some time, or well, some, some corners already. So I think obviously it would be a lot of carbon fibre damage, uh, probably a lot of crashes. But I, I think it would be really interesting to just go to one of these, maybe just have a test run or something. I, just, I really want to see a track like that just be back on the calendar. Of course, it's never going to happen full time, but maybe we can do like a one-off event. I mean, what what would really be the harm in doing a one-off event around an oval? Uh, not in the championship, a completely non-championship race like they used to do, actually. They used to do non-championship races. I think the Indy 500 used to be a non-championship Formula 1 race. Why can't we go back and do something like that? Maybe why can't we run the Indianapolis 500? Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. Why couldn't we? Why couldn't we? Just with Formula 1 cars. And maybe the teams could, you know, they have the prize pool at the end of the race. Maybe it was a bit like the Monday Indy 500. I don't know. I just think it would be really interesting to try something a bit different. Because, like we'll speak about in a minute, most of the Monday Formula 1 tracks look the same. Uh, of course, we have some of the classics like Monza, Spa, Silverstone. But a lot of the modern, modern day Formula 1 tracks, the ones that are brought into the calendar recently, do look very similar. Maybe India actually is in that in that sort of vein of things it is pretty similar in terms of maybe india china malaysia they all look pretty similar so i don't know try something different i think it'd just be really interesting for formula one of course it will never happen full time it will never happen on a championship race but just try something different like avis an insane street track or maybe an oval i don't know something like the indianapolis 500 i think it'd be great just something different Everyone could be excited for just this one-off crazy event each year. I think it'd be quite interesting. So next up is the Montjuic circuit in the Barcelona mountains. Now this is sort of, sort of sort of serious, but then also a little bit sort of fantasy at the same time because I think that of course being based in the mountains makes it really interesting. It immediately puts it on a different level to quite literally to any other Formula One track, and I think that make it really just a bit of a different landscape. Now, of course, I know you don't want just an amazing landscape for a Formula 1 track, but like I was speaking about previously there, pretty much all of the Monday Formula 1 tracks look the same, and you feel like you could go to any of them and they could just it would look and feel the same as any other modern-day Formula 1 track. But go out there doing something different. I think it would be great for Formula 1. It would give some fans a reason to go and watch a Formula 1 race because a lot of the time it's just so easy to watch it on TV and so great to watch on TV, you get all the, the vantage points and all the angles, it sort of negates the fact of going to a Grand Prix sometimes, but if we did try some of these slightly crazy out there events, like something in the, the, the Barcelona mountains, I think it would honestly make for a bit more of a spectacular show and maybe give some people a bit more of a reason to travel to an event because it's much more of a spectacle than you sort of know what's going to happen, you know what it's going to look like and every corner sort of looks the same. I I think it would be really interesting to see if we went somewhere like this. Of course, the reason we stopped racing at the Montjuic Mountains or Montjuic Circuit, by the way, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I realise, but I just don't know how to properly say it. So if someone that is... Spanish or no Spanish or just can tell me how to say it your comments are appreciated but the fact that it's so different and so out there obviously means that it was dangerous that was the reason why we stopped going there in the first place and that's the reason why a lot of drivers are like no I do not want to go back to this track ever again but if they obviously implemented more safety into it uh, Monday safety standards they could maybe get it to a point where it is feasible. I mean, who knows? Who really knows at the end of the day? But I would just love for Formula 1 to do something a little bit different because it seems every single track in the Monday Formula 1 calendar, that, or the new tracks that come onto the calendar, are a bit of a carbon copy of the one that came before it, or at least have copied a couple of corners from some of the, the previous tracks. So it's just sort of like... Yeah, a lot of them do feel very similar when we go to them. And that's nothing against them, because I, I realise that not every track can be blessed with an, a, a magnificent landscape, maybe like Spa, or maybe something like Brands Hatch back in the day, where it's just an interesting circuit. I know not, not every facility or not every venue or not every country can have uh, we blessed with those facilities or that landscape. But at the same time, I don't see why we all have to go back to the same basically the same Grand Prix tracks for half of the calendar. Why can't we just spice it up and do something a bit different? 
I think it'd be interesting. So next up is the Riverside International Raceway in the United States. Now, a lot of people will be like, what, why, we already have a United States Grand Prix, why would we need to go back here? Well, in my opinion, like we've been talking about a little bit earlier, the United States Grand Prix, the one in Texas, whilst it does have some cool traits, like the the run-up to the first corner and then the, the sort of maggots Beckett's complex, that's quite cool. But then the second half of the lap is very similar to a lot of Monday Formula 1 tracks, and I don't know, it just... It doesn't fill me with excitement when watching it. Something which... It doesn't fill me with excitement when watching this, but something about the Indian track, for example, did fill me with a bit more excitement because the the corners and all that were... I feel like were just a little bit more interesting. I suppose in a lot of ways they probably were quite similar, but there was just something about the Indian Grand Prix circuit which I did like a lot more than the current day Texas United States Grand Prix track. So... It's tough because, of course, a lot of these one-day tracks, as we've been saying, do look the same. But the Riverside International Raceway, I think one of those tracks that started with a lot of promise in the 70s and 80s, unfortunately sort of just didn't really have the budget to keep going. People weren't maybe turning out to it, maybe in a lot of ways. I think back then there were, probably, were there multiple uh, Grand Prix held in America. I think there might have been at that time. So I feel like something like that, maybe just something in the United States that's maybe already there, Maybe something like a Long Beach, throwing it out there, doing something a bit different. Laguna Seca, they're probably not quite one day Formula 1 facilities. They probably need to be updated somewhat to be up to that safety standard. But you feel they would throw out something completely different. I think that's maybe something I've been sort of bringing across this whole video. Is I just want to see something a little bit different. I don't want to see the same old autodrome come back or be introduced to Formula 1 because it's boring and we want to see some slightly more interesting tracks even if there is less overtaking i mean let's be honest it can't be much worse than the monday formula one where there's not much overtaking i mean the first lap is crazy and carnage and then by lap 17 or 18 everyone's separated into i don't know a field spread of 45 seconds i mean it's like the race is pretty much over at that point unless something crazy happens so yeah, if you throw out there a circuit where it's hard to overtake and the limits are, or, you know, you're driving close to the limit every single lap. I mean, if the the width of the track is one and a half car widths wide, drivers are going to have to be very ballsy to go through certain corners at certain speeds and trust the car can be there. And it could mean mistakes, or there's a fine line between mistakes and major success. And I think that'd be really interesting. I mean, I'm just thinking Laguna Seca. Whilst it would be absolutely insane for there to be a Formula 1 race there nowadays, it would provide some really just crazy moments. I mean, if you got a little bit wide, you know, you hit the dust and the dirt on the outside, and yeah, it could it could throw out a, a race victory for someone very, very easily if they just made a, a small, small mistake where in the Monday Formula 1 tracks, they could run off onto like five miles worth of runoff area and just get back onto the track very cleanly. And I think it's a sad thing as well. This, has got, this has changed completely the subject matter of this video halfway through, but... You know, even tracks like Suzuka, which obviously is a, a fan favourite, a classic, and Silverstone to an extent as well, and Monza, and too many other tracks to be fair, they've been replacing the the grass with just tarmac areas where people can just exploit the track for one and obviously gain an advantage, and then get away from their mistakes. If they do a silly mistake, they can get back on the track and just get on their merry way very easily. And that's just, that wasn't the case in some of the old tracks. And something like Laguna Seca, of course it has a couple of little areas where you can run off because of safety, but it doesn't go too far with it. So, well, I guess what I'm saying is, if we go to a, any other tracks, we need that we need that fine line. You need to be able to make mistakes. You can be able to make a small mistake and be able to get away from it, but if you make a big mistake, you need to be you know losing a lot of time significantly from it. Not like a lot of these one-day Formula One tracks, where you, as I've been saying, you could just drive off the track and just, if anything, gain a bit of time. We can't be having that in one-day Formula One. It's, it's bad. And on a similar route, Zandvoort. Now this is not really abandoned, to be fair. I mean, I, I went there this year. It's definitely not abandoned. But what I'm trying to say with Zandvoort is that it seems like this is going to be coming back on the F1 calendar over the next couple of years. I think they've lodged a bid to hold a Dutch Grand Prix there. Now, I think this is really interesting because this is quite similar to something like Laguna Seca in a lot of ways. It's a track with very fine margins where if you make a small mistake, you're going to be off into the gravel, you're going to be off into the barrier. And so many F3 cars, especially, and even a couple of DTM cars crashed when I was there at Zandvoort this weekend, and not this weekend, this year. 
t- it, it was there was that that line that fine line between success and failure was really really interesting to watch and some people were so close to it on a, a couple of occasions and they just about didn't do it they didn't go off into the gravel into the tire wall so I personally think Zanvoort whilst it may not be the greatest in terms of overtaking like Laguna Seca wouldn't be for example I feel like for entertaining racing in terms of seeing drivers find the limits and really just push them as much as possible i think this track would be great for it and let's be honest it's a completely different style of track to the sochi autodrome for example the sochi autodrome and zanvor probably couldn't be much more different in so many ways so Zanvor definitely looks like it's going to be coming back onto the calendar over the next couple of years. It probably does need a couple of uh, safety features to be up to Monday, Formula 1, FIA standards, top te- uh, top tier FIA standards. But it held the DTM, which is probably one of the quickest series below Formula 1. It held the Formula 3 European Championship and some other GT races as well it held. And it didn't seem dangerous in any way that makes any sense it seemed risky it seemed like drivers were definitely on their limit but it didn't seem dangerous in any way so i'm interested to see whether zanvort does come back on the calendar because it it definitely looks like it will and this isn't really my opinion it, it looks like zanvort genuinely is going to be coming back, on the, uh, coming back onto the calendar but i think it genuinely is going to be an interesting track it might not provide Im- immense overtaking there probably aren't that many overtaking opportunities but Seeing cars on the limit, a bit like Suzuka, for example, seeing cars really just on their limit and just pushed further than maybe they should be. That's what I want to see. And I think Zandvoort might be a track for that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, we've talked about so many things in this video and I've got off topic quite severely in some areas, but I, you know, I like just sometimes rambling on and making a discussion. I think sometimes you enjoy it as well. Hopefully you do. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Uh, I'll see you all around for another video. It's been Anx and I'm out of here. Goodbye.